25 years ago, a small company started taking mildly radioactive dirt and disposing of it 80 miles west of Salt Lake City. In the years since, that waste site has transformed into America's busiest nuclear dump, taking 95% of the nation's low-level radioactive waste, most of it from nuclear reactors. Over the years, Heal Utah and our supporters have successfully blocked energy solutions when the company tried to bring every shred of the nation's nuclear waste to our West Desert. We stopped foreign waste. We stopped hotter waste. We kept the dump from growing larger. But in 2014, we faced by far our biggest fight over nuclear waste. It's depleted uranium, a dangerous material left over from making nuclear weapons and nuclear reactor fuel. Unlike the Class A nuclear waste allowed in Utah now, depleted uranium doesn't become slowly less radioactive until it's fairly safe in a century or two. Nope, depleted uranium is different. It not only stays dangerous, it gets more dangerous. Not just over centuries or even millennia, the waste grows more and more radioactive for more than two million years. Unfortunately, due to a colossal loophole in the regulations, this nasty waste could find a permanent home in our West Desert, if Energy Solutions has its way. We're flabbergasted that Utah is even considering allowing waste that will stay radioactive for so long. Heck, in 2005, our state legislature banned waste that would have posed a hazard for just 300 years. And now we're thinking about taking some that will be a problem for two million? We fought this before. In 2009, Heal and thousands of our supporters rallied to stop three trainloads of depleted uranium slated to come here. Due to the huge public outcry, Governor Gary Herbert asked the trains to turn around. But that was only a temporary fix. This summer, Herbert will decide whether to let Energy Solutions permanently dump more than 800,000 tons of depleted uranium out in the West Desert. It is a huge decision. Nuclear waste, which grows more dangerous for two million years, shouldn't be stored in a mound in the desert, close to the surface. It must be buried deeply, far away from future civilizations. And while Energy Solutions West Desert site is dry now, it will change dramatically during the next few hundred or even thousands of years, scientists assure us. It will flood, as it has repeatedly in the geologic past, sending this dangerous waste widely into the environment. That is unacceptable. Utah officials are right now finishing up their review of a technical study Energy Solutions paid for, which, surprise, surprise, concluded that depleted uranium is safe. However, that study was fatally flawed. It ignored key scenarios that would have shown clearly that the waste is way too dangerous for Utah. We need Governor Herbert and his administration to make the right decision to protect Utahns for literally thousands of generations to come. We need to keep depleted uranium out of Utah, and we need your help. Please go to www.healutah.org slash stop DU to find out what you can do. Thank you.